Hey guys, what's up? It's Emma. About a month ago, I uploaded a video about my app transformation from Chloe Ting's two-week shred program. And today, I'm going to show you guys part two, I guess, of getting healthy and fit during quarantine. All thanks to Chloe Ting. Day one, starting the challenge. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on her 25 day hourglass challenge. Bruh. Yeah, let's just get into it. This is the longest challenge I've ever done, so hopefully it'll all be worth it. This is what my body looks like before, and these are my measurements. My waist is 27.5 inches. My butt is 39 inches. My hips are 34 inches. My left thigh is 21 inches. My right thigh is 21.5 inches. My left arm is 10 inches, and my right arm is 10.5 inches. So we'll see if any of that changes. Obviously, I mean, I feel like everybody wants that hourglass shape so maybe we'll get there i'm kind of just doing this to keep working out and to stay motivated but yeah let's just get into the video day one starting the challenge let's go kind of After doing day one of the hourglass challenge, I really, really like this workout. It wasn't that bad. It was only two videos. Yeah, overall, really liked them. Easy start to the workout, I feel like. honest I literally wasn't going to work out today because I'm so tired and like I just like don't have the motivation to do anything and I was like doing my homework and I didn't want to do that either so I'm working out even though I really want to take a nap right now like I cannot express how much I want to take a nap right now but I guess I'll freaking work out I guess I'll do it uh I don't want to do this but we will because tomorrow's rest day and I can rest then What's up? The quality on this is probably not good because it's on my phone, but I just wanted to come on here to be like real about like how I'm feeling throughout this challenge. It's day 20 and I for real was gonna quit even though I have like five days left. Not because it was like hard, but I was just like really unmotivated today. If I don't do my workout in the morning, then like I feel not productive and I like worry about it the whole day about doing my workout. I did my workout at, like four in the afternoon and like when I was starting it, I just like felt so bad about myself. Usually I like having a mirror by me to see if I'm doing the exercises right or whatever, but like today I was just like staring at my body while I was doing the exercises and I was like, I look so fat. Like I just said all this bad stuff about my body and I was like, why do I look like that? Like I like see no change. Like this challenge is pointless. Like I'm not doing anything. I don't look any different. And then I just remember that like, I'm not doing this to look a certain way. I'm not doing this to have like someone's body and like look a certain way. I'm doing this to be healthy, get my body moving, treat my body well. Like I shouldn't be so hard on myself for not looking like how society wants me to look i don't know i was just being so hard on myself today for like not having results and i feel like a lot of people do that it sucks that that's the picture that we have in our mind that like we have to look like like we have to have a six pack like we have to be super skinny and have like a snatched waist and like an hourglass figure once i realized that i'm not doing this to look a certain way and that i'm just i'm doing it to be healthy i should be so proud of myself like doing this challenge like i've never done a 25 day challenge before and like i'm actually following through with it yeah okay bye <laughs> Okay, 
okay 25 days later i finished the challenge like a couple days ago but i've been actually redoing my room this is my room and you might be like what the heck it was green i painted it yeah i'm in the middle of my extreme room makeover because i actually absolutely hated my room before if you want to watch a room makeover stay tuned and subscribe to see that also i sound like so stuffed up because i am and my allergies are actually killing me finally done 25 days later i am so happy that i am done i really don't think i'll be doing another clothing challenge for a while because after doing the two-week shred program and this i am so over it i'm done <laughs> maybe in like a couple weeks i'll do it again but before getting into the results i wanted to talk about body image and kind of just like how i struggled with that over the course of this month i included the clip of me that one day where i was just like really feeling down about myself i feel like it's so easy to fall into this hole of like comparing yourself to others and what other people's bodies look like it's not fair to like have this goal of like having an hourglass figure when it's like you your body shape could not be an hourglass. Like there's so many other body shapes that you can have. And it's just like this idea of, oh, I need to have an hourglass figure. I need to look like this is so bad for you. So I just wanted to reiterate that having abs and having hourglass figure, obviously you would be awesome but i don't really know what my body shape is but it's definitely not like snatched waist you know what i'm saying it's not like that everybody's body and fitness journey is different so please don't compare yourself to others in the end i learned to stop comparing myself and i learned to be like i'm not doing this to get an hourglass figure and have a snatched waist like obviously that would be awesome but my body doesn't just like work like that. It's not gonna like automatically look like that. I started this challenge because I wanted to keep working out and keep my body in like a healthy state or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's easy to lose sight of that when you're like constantly thinking about what your body looks like. Am I getting those results? I feel like I need to include that in all of my like workout challenge videos because something I struggle with so on to my results obviously like I said I was struggling with it and comparing myself to others and being like oh I'm not good enough so like when I was first measuring myself I was like what the fuck like nothing really changed but I was being so hard on myself and I didn't really like realize that like half an inch is like pretty good actually yeah so here are my results here's my before and after my waist was 27.5 inches and now it's 27 inches so I lost half an inch on my waist which I really didn't expect the one my measurement which was like shocking to me and was like oh this didn't work for me was my butt my butt was 39 inches before and it's still 39 inches now looking back at the footage and like looking at my body in the mirror now i feel like my butt is a lot firmer <laughs> i don't know perkier ew i don't know how to explain it but you can see in the pictures i just feel like it's more like lifted I don't know. And then my hips, I was pretty surprised too because my hips went down half an inch. My hips before were 34 inches and now they're 33.5. I feel like I got rid of like a little bit of the fat on my hips, so I'm happy about that. My thighs pretty much stayed the same. My left thigh was 21 and now it's a 21. My right thigh was 21.5 and now it's 21 inches. My arms pretty much the same. My left arm was 10 inches and now it's 10.5 inches and my right arm was 10.5 inches and now it's 10.5 inches. I don't know. I wasn't really expecting any change my legs or arms because the workouts didn't really target that but besides measurements I feel a lot stronger I feel like I got more tone and then one of the biggest things people comment is like what's your diet like did you change your diet blah blah, blah. literally did not change my diet at all my diet normally is just like I kind of eat whatever I want I like try to make healthy decisions if I want chips I'm gonna eat chips if I want ice cream I'm gonna eat ice cream you know probably isn't the best like I'm trying to get healthy, should be eating healthier. Eating healthier would definitely better your results. Another thing is cardio, which is really important to do with these workouts. I wish I ran more or like did cardio, but Holland Town is insane and I live around a ton of trees and my allergies are awful. So going outside is literally like, not for me, but for someone else, maybe. You know, if I had a treadmill, I'd be using that, but I'm excited for when the Palm 
pollen goes away and I can run. Or, you know, possibly when the gym's open again and I could go on a treadmill. I don't know, cardio is really good. Even just walking or like going up and down the stairs. I used to do that outside. Like I would run up and down my stairs. This program is really good if you're like a beginner or like at any level because you can cater it to like what you want. You can use resistance bands to increase the difficulty of your workouts. I don't have resistance bands. I couldn't do that, but if I did, it would be better because over time you want to increase your resistance, but I still saw a difference without doing that. Overall, I would definitely recommend Chloe Ting's workouts. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everyone's fitness journey is different, so, you know, listen to your body. Yeah. In comparison to the other Chloe Ting workout challenges I've done, my favorite, personally, is still the two-week shred program. I just feel like it hurts so good. Two weeks is like an easier amount of time to commit to. Like I feel like 25 days I was just like, uh. But yeah, that was my journey doing Chloe Ting's 25 day hourglass challenge. I probably won't be doing another one of hers for a while just because I'm so worn out. So I'm gonna give myself a little break. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs> Ew. We're all in this together, so let's have some fun.